integrate e to the x over 1 plus 2 times e to the x. So to do this problem, we're going to try to do a u substitution. So typically u is like your inside piece. However, in this case we have a fraction. So we're going to let u be the bottom piece. Because you see, if you take the derivative of the bottom, you're going to get an e to the x, and you have an e to the x in the problem. So that's a good, good choice. Even though you might not see the full solution yet, you see that if you call this piece u, du is going to involve e to the x, so that's a good way to good thing to try. So u will be equal to 1 plus 2 e to the x. So now we'll take the derivative, so du. The derivative of 1 is 0, the 2 hangs out, and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here you get e to the x dx. And now our goal is to make this look like what's in our integrand over here. So it's almost there. We just have this extra 2. So what we can do is just divide by 2. Just divide it away. This will become 1 half du. And that's equal to e to the x dx. Okay. So um, now e to the x dx is 1 half du, so that's 1 half du. And what's left? Uh, well, it would be 1 over u, right? That's your u on the bottom, and then this is your du. Now, if you like, you can write it like this. e to the x dx is really maybe like this, du 1 half, that might be a little more clear, you see, and then over u. Same thing. Same thing as what I have written here. This is a formula. Um, this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. This is equal to 1 half natural log absolute value of, and then u we said was 1 plus 2 e to the x. And then we still have our constant of integration, capital C. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.